Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you're looking for something, how do you know when it becomes available if you're not actively looking for it? You'd expect some kind of notification, potentially. The problem is, is that uh, sometimes uh, it's not easy to get notifications from an official service. Say you want to scan the headlines for your last name, if it happens to be a unique one, like, you know, Perillo. Well, uh, I could use certain things like Google Alerts. Certainly, I could search Twitter for my last name, but that's, that's just not as comprehensive as it, as it might be. Let's say I'm looking for a job, and in, 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 in the job description, I would expect to see the word geek. Uh, you know, I mean, I would never want to search for a job description like that said the word technology. Well, I guess geek is, is uh, just about as ubiquitous. Uh, but let's say I was looking for something specific. Uh, instead of just geek, let's uh, say Seattle geek. Let's say I was looking for something ex incredibly specific and I wanted to know exactly when something new came online that had those keywords in it. I wanted to be notified. Not through the service that was actually publishing the new information because they may not be able to give me that kind of notification. And let's say I, I wanted it by SMS, a text message, since I carry my phone with me everywhere. I want to know exactly when it happens. I want to be notified. I need someone to notify me. I need someone to notify dot me. That's, that's the website, as uh, the eBay kid pointed out there. Thank you for keying that in. Notify dot M-E. That's it. Did you hear me say dub, 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 dot? No. Did you hear me say dot com? No. The website, full URL, notify dot M-E. Now that I've said that, I'm going to turn my attention here to the screen at notify.me you sign up you tell it what you're looking for and they've got you know uh, basic easy ways to track uh, items like from craigslist a uh, job posting breaking news stories and so much more you could either use the desktop app you could use email you could use sms or you could just manage your notifications and and, and look for the no what notifications through the web experience right here in your web browser uh this is uh uh, going to be something that I think you're going to appreciate. Again, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for something, you always want to be on the cutting edge for that particular keyword. The fact that you can get it delivered by email or SMS, I think is a pretty big deal. Uh, and I'm not going to say this is the most comprehensive service out there. I don't know that. It's just another service that is going to help you track what's going on when uh, the web is, you know, suddenly populated or at least it becomes uh, available in this index uh, with your keyword or set of keywords uh, how else are you going to know i mean yeah you, uh, otherwise you'd have to go and you'd have to search over and over and over and over again and you, you just can't do that i mean your time is kind of precious i mean it should be especially if you're looking for a job uh, certainly maybe you've got your eye on a certain product um, you know you're looking for news on the product reviews on the product uh, price drops on the product you know any of this could be used uh, in, inside of uh, this type of notification system so it, it, it's something that uh, I, I'd recommend it was passed along to me by Joe Spaghettio and Joe Spaghettio uh, he's becoming a, one of my favorite geeks at geeks.perillo.com he's now recommended close to five web services that I've featured in videos he's got a good eye uh, for finding this stuff really good stuff notify.me uh, go ahead and sign up. Now, if you know of any other notification service like this, maybe something bigger, grander, uh, you know, not likely to, to highlight in a video, but I'd certainly be interested in, in taking a look, potentially sharing it with the rest of the community. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And of course, you're also welcome to stop by the geeks.perillo.com community. Uh, as I mentioned, Joe Spaghettio is there. At least I think he's there. He should be there. He's Joe. We all know Joe, right? Joe Spaghettio. That's not his real name. That's his, his, his nickname. At least I don't think it's his real name. If so, man, I feel sorry for him. I guess it's better than being called Joe Rigatoni. Not to offend any Joe Rigatonis you're watching. Oh, or Joe Mastacholi. That would be... Are there any Joe Mastacholis watching? Okay, I'll get off the pasta now. <clears throat> I wasn't going to go there, Mac and Josh. Thank you, though. I appreciate you tipping it there. <clears throat> if you'd like to join us in the uh, chat room, you're more than welcome to. We're typically talking tech right here. See, this live, vi this video is being recorded live. Of course, now it's recorded when you're watching it, when you're not here watching it live. 
but the chat room is integrated with the live video experience. So even if I'm not here, the chat room certainly is. And we're typically talking tech, you know, hardware, software, internet services, you name it. Especially if it's geeky, we're we're chatting about it. Gaming, trust me, these guys are all over it. I, I guarantee, like two minutes after I'm done with this video, someone is going to ask a hardware question or a gaming question. It's a guarantee. Don't believe me? Fine. Then stop by. Say hello. What are you waiting for? We're waiting for you at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.